owl says hoot, hoot, hoot. The owl says hoot, hoot, hoot. The owl says hoot, hoot. Do I think I could beat the SP up in a fight? Rumor is he wants to smoke. <laughs> No, I'm taller than him, and I'm more athletic, and he also has a bad back. He also has gout, so I could just stomp on his foot. We need to locate Wouldn't say athletic. Insertion in 10 seconds. I would, I would almost bet I'm more athletic than DSP. Honestly. Oh my god, like, I was just so obstinate. I was, like, talking to a brick wall, right? My shit didn't stink, and I didn't ever want to improve. And I would criticize and constantly take, like, backhanded stabs at other content creators. Like, you're right. In 2014, I would have said, wow, that content creator tonight had to do an interactive stream where they just basically talk to people all night instead of putting out gameplay. And they gave shout-outs every single time. What a slave to the people who are contributing. I would never want to be like that. And admittedly, back then, that was my mentality was I was a YouTuber. I made enough ad revenue that I didn't have to do those kind of things. But now that I do them, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, does it take away? Look, I barely played the game tonight. And people will complain that tonight I didn't get gameplay of Fire Emblem because I talked to you guys, right? I know that they will. But at the same time, having a meaningful conversation with my audience like this is only possible if I have an interactive stream where I'm directly interacting with you guys and saying thank you for your contributions, right? So the old content I used to put out was different and got stale. So I needed to change to become someone who had more meaningful content, and I feel that I do now. So 2014, Phil, at that time, thought he was right because he was so head up in the clouds, sort of surrounded by money out the ass with ad revenue on YouTube, that he never even bothered to peek down through the clouds at, at reality and say, oh, look, there's actually meaningful stuff down there that I'm missing out on because I'm an idiot. And instead of looking and being proactive, I'm just going to be a moron and sit up here until, uh oh, the clouds cleared up and I fell down and crashed to earth. Right. That's what happened. But I'm able to look back at my old self and say I was wrong. And admit, admit when I was stupid and, and change for the better. And that's what I'm trying to do every day is try to, like, show you guys that I really made an effort to change and be a better content creator for you because I feel that I know back then I was being stupid. That's it. That's all they do. They literally turn on a stream, play a game, receive a paycheck, turn the stream off. There's no genuineness to their content. That's not who I want to be. I'm playing Fire Emblem right now with less than 200 viewers, right? Because I, this is a game people wanted to see me play. They asked me to play it for a year. I tried it. I genuinely like the game and I want to keep playing it. Not because I'm getting paid to do it. You see? That's different to me. Like, that's who I am. That's why, even though you say I would have been better off accepting the paycheck, financially, yes. But in the inside, no. More than likely, I would have hated who I am and hated myself and, and never had the kind of, like, this conversation we're having right now never would have transpired if that's the kind of content creator that I was. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? Like, I'll be good even when the government contacts me about my back taxes and everything. I think it's like, I'll be all right. Um, because of your health. And it was looking like if it continued, maybe I could get all the new consoles this year. Maybe I could improve the streams. If the vestry ends, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, it was, it was a lot of contributions for a long period of time there. But it could all end now because they're like, oh, the streak's over. So forget it. There's no point. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going to happen when the streak ends. So... It is what it is, I guess. Um, we'll see what happens for the re you know for the rest of this year.